<clears throat> All right, just wanted to show you the inside movements of an Insole 7 movement head. Now he made a couple uh, different versions, a 3 and a 7, and custom ones with other ones, but this was kind of the standard setup. And this is a, uh, this is a later model one. So they're pretty much all the same, but all the improvements he did over time will all be in this head. Um, okay, so going through real quick, we got the moving mouth. Oh, sorry, no we don't. There's the moving mouth. So everything works on a pole action. Pretty simple there. Uh, next we're gonna have, if I can get any of these triggers. Yeah, so this is our upper lip sneer. So that metal plate there is the front teeth. So it just pulls down, but it's funny, the spring is located at the top of the head. So, kind of an interesting location there. And you got that linkage arm there as well. Next, oh wait, sorry. So up top here we have our blinks. And so the spring, okay, so let me try to show you this best I can. It's basically just an L little shaped lever that literally lifts up the winker bracket, which is sprung to the side. Okay, and that little brass bit on the end, that's a stopper soldered on so it can't go past. And there's a little hook on the inside of there to catch that spring. So that's our action there. It actually works really well. And on insole heads, you know, they're off to the sides of the eyes opposed to standard dummies where that's kind of all in the middle. Just because that middle area is sensitive with all this lip action going on. But anyway, yeah, those are the blinks. Um, same exact configuration on that side. Again, just pull down levers. Um, okay, so we, the iMac, really genius. Again, you'll see where the inspiration for my jack-o'-lantern eye mechanism kind of came from. Return spring there, just pushes over. Uh, that's a little replacement synchro bar I just put in there because I replaced the eyes at some point on this head. Um, eyebrows, I think, are the most impressive, so... That's what's causing that. Springs at the top. Brass bar at the top there stops them from overriding. And then this brass Y is pretty flexible. So it's almost like a uh, yeah, brass spring. That rides through that little cross bracing there. Again, just down. There's a wide shot of how that works. Really nice. Um, ears. Again, the stuff is just so clever, it seems so simple, but I never would have thought of any of this stuff. Again, same idea as the winkers, where like the winker is actually like an independent uh, movement, and then that bar just goes ahead and pushes it in the head. Again, and then cradled there to make a stop. Uh, yeah, am I missing anything? I don't think so. Yeah, so that's him. Um, I hope that helps.